Hi, Mara Mercaccio. Tonight I'm making salmon, and we're gonna make that salmon over some wilted greens. I just bought a pack of the organic. It's spring mix and spinach mix. My mother used to always like cook romaine. She liked to cook salad. And a lot of people don't do it, but a lot of Italians do. They cook the greens and salad. So I'm gonna put my gas on. It's Teflon, so I don't have to worry too much about it. But I wanna salt and pepper my salmon. This is the beautiful Scottish salmon that I get from my friend Rich at Hesh Seafood. So salt and pepper on both sides. So I'm gonna pour some, I'm gonna use extra virgin olive oil. It's for flavor, so that's maybe two tablespoons. It's not even that. I got some broccoli rabe, I'm gonna go on the side. I got a salad made. I got potatoes roasting in the oven. And it's just what I felt like eating today. So I'm gonna make three pieces. I always cook for two. But I'll make them one tonight. We're gonna to bring it to my brother. And you can see the sizzle. You didn't hear it, but you can see it. So we know that that's hot. So it's always presentation side down, which is the nicer side. Whatever you want people to see is your presentation side. So I got it on high because we want to brown that outside. So now in here I have one clove of garlic. Just something I feel like doing tonight. I'm gonna to put really good, this is really good. I love this extra virgin olive oil. French oil, whatever, French oil. It's Italian though, it's from Italy, but you know, I'm gonna put a little bit. Maybe a teaspoon. But it's gonna become part of our sauce. So we want it to be really good. I'm gonna put that away. I don't need it anymore. I also want to put in there a little piece of butter. We're going to let that melt. And we're not going to keep it so high. We don't want to burn the butter. Now the reason why you put oil with butter, I think I told you this before, is because the oil helps the butter from browning. It doesn't make the butter burn, in other words. And the butter just enhances the flavor of that really good oil. So we're gonna let that garlic brown and then we'll come back. The garlic is browning, which means you won't get sick from eating it because it won't be raw. And the butter's starting to get brown, like a brown butter. That's gonna give you like a toasty taste. So I'm gonna flip these. Oh, so beautiful. Remember, we will stand for six, eight minutes per inch. So I'm going to flip them. I'm going to lower them now. Now we want to cook the inside. Matter of fact, I'm going to put a lid on it. Okay. Now that's good. The cage are in the oven. And this is what I decided to make tonight, like I told you. Uh, I need enough for three. I'm going to say one. Just remember, no, done. Okay. Let's go back to three. And what I have here is, I want to lower that a little more. These are sun-dried tomatoes that my friend sent me from Calabria, okay? Look at the size of these sun-dried tomatoes. You don't get them like this here in America. These are from Calabria. So I just wanted to show you the size of them. And I, they come really, like, hard. And I put them in there. Uh, oops. Oh, man, you don't want to waste them. But we're not going to look. I put them in a, a small pot with a little bit of the... Uh, let me turn that off one sec. A little bit of water. I boiled them. And I took it down, let them sit for about maybe 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna just slice these down. Use as many as you want. I don't want too many. I just want the flavor. Now you ain't gonna get better than that, okay? 
catching with that. And so it's kind of like you're eating almost like a little salad underneath. These are pine nuts. These are pignolias. They're right from Calabria. I toasted them a little bit. You can see a little bit of color on them. Look at the size of these. You don't get these in America either. These are gorgeous. My friend sent them to me. I, I love her. You know, she bought me. So I'm going to pour these in. Okay, she got that going. So I'm dry. I wanted to have some citrus. So I made, this is the lemon zest from one lemon. And we're going to use just a half of lemon. It's kind of like a salad. That is. Now, of course, we need salt and pepper. And I think I'm going to hit it with a little bit of chicken stock. I made chicken stock today. So, mm, you can actually even use a little more for I'm going to put a little bit more in it. You want to salt and pepper down because we didn't. And I'm going to get a little bit of chicken stock. I'm making a mess right now. Okay, so I added another handful. I want it to be full in. I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock. I'm going to raise the gas a little bit. Okay. A little bit of stock. That may have been about a quarter cup. You just need enough to make a little bit of, uh, I'm dropping everything tonight. But isn't that pretty? Look at that. Delicious, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You can have a little more stock if you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna let that cook for two minutes, it's finished. Then we'll be back. We're gonna pour down in the dish. Everything's cooked. Getting ready to plate it. So I have to remember that this is for three, so I don't want to be selfish. I want to share it. I'm going to put this down real nice and pretty. Oh, I want some of those pine nuts. So you want to do it quick because, you know, it will stand really fast. Okay, so I'm going to take a nice piece of salmon one you like. Okay, this is Maria. She likes this one. And we're going to put some broccoli rob here. You don't want your, I'll eat this because you don't want your potatoes in the same thing. Am I right? Yep, you're right. Okay, so I want mine right there. And that's how I want mine, okay? It looks delicious. So, here we have our salmon over wilted greens, spinach and mixed greens. Some barley rob, some roasted potatoes are so good. It's just oil, salt, and pepper. Roast them at about 375 for about 30 minutes, I'd say. I hope you enjoyed this dish. If you do like the video, please share it. If you uh, cook it, please take a photo for me. Uh, I'm drinking a Morgan tonight, Gamay Grape, same one that they use for a Beaujolais. I love these wines, they're light, they're beautiful. And I want everybody to stay safe and cheers.